Hey Scorpio, welcome to February. This is your love reading. It is for couples, singles, and then undefined relationships, which could be on and off again relationships. Maybe it's polyamorous. Maybe you're in a relationship with somebody who's in a marriage. Maybe it's not Facebook official. Maybe it's friends with benefits. You get the drill. So I will put in the description box where each specific portion of the reading starts so that you can find your section. Um, but I will do the undefined at the end because sometimes it's beneficial to watch um, all of the reading, the singles and the couples, because bits and pieces might go, ooh, resonates for me on the way to your own special um, section. So let's start with singles for Scorpio. And so they're saying, Here's the deal. Right now, you might be like super intuitive, but there are certain things that you can't discern. Certain things that are not coming to light, and um, it's for a reason. There are things that you're not supposed to know. So should you go digging, um, they're saying you won't find the information that you're looking for, unfortunately. So why is it that something is hidden from your view? And they're saying because you have deep feelings and um, about a certain situation or circumstance. Oh, Astrid's here, the spirit kitty, so this must be important. Um, and these are things that you'll discover through conversation with other people. So this is a very good month for you to um, talk about how you're feeling with others as massive epiphanies and revelations can come for you. So in the recent past with your love life, um, it seemed like things were starting to move quickly or like energies are starting to shift. Maybe all of a sudden you kind of feel like, ooh, I feel like a soulmate is coming. I don't know where or how, hence that, you know, darkness energy of like, hmm, I can't quite put my finger on it, but something feels like it's coming for you. Right now, they're saying that um, less of your focus energy-wise is on worker material things, on earth-type energies, paying bills, stuff like that. And... Um, you should feel confident moving into the future because there is this energy of falling in love, of this like overflow of love emotion. So for the majority of Scorpios, moving through the end of February into March, is it likely that you will find a love match? And they're saying, we'll communicate that clearly. So is it likely that the majority of Scorpios um, will find their forever partner, and they're saying, well, maybe with the help of other people. And so if you are to find a love match, it might be that um, somebody sets you up or gives you a recommendation. Maybe they say, hey, you know, I met, a, I met a really good match. I met my partner through this website or um, by joining this club, something like that, or being open to allowing friends to set you up with people, that sort of a thing. Maybe a friend invites you to something and you're like, oh, I don't know if I really want to go to that. It might be a good opportunity. It might be a good month to say yes. Now, for the rest of you, maybe just cas meeting somebody who would be more of a casual partner to date and not a forever match. This is where things are getting interesting because cards are jumping all over the place. And they're saying... Let go of what potential relationships might turn out to be. And this is because if we live too far thinking about the future, it creates anxiety in our life. Okay. And so we've got to be just more mindful this month of like, how do I feel in this moment? And if it feels good in the moment, do it. They're saying that things might move a little bit slow this month in regards to love, but you're laying down foundations to meet that special person. And they say a lot of you already know this. You can already feel it. Whatever it is you're visualizing or trying to manifest, you can feel that it's getting closer. And that's awesome. Now, I do want to warn you about the law of opposites. Sometimes what happens when we're attracting someone close to us, all of a sudden something pops up that is familiar. And even if it was painful, it's comfortable because it's familiar, like an ex, for example, to say, hey, this is something that a lot of people don't know, but they should know about the law of attraction, is the law of opposites shows up oftentimes right before something amazing is about to take form. And um, it's kind of the universe testing you saying, is this really what you want? Because if you take the bait with that ex, guess what? You just resist 
resisted that new love from showing up. So keep that in mind as you move through February. They're saying be really excited, be really um, enthused and happy and joyful for this energy to come through for you because the more that you feel that, the more ability you have to speed up this process because like I said, it does feel like it's coming a little slow even though you can kind of feel it coming through. And what they're saying here is that you have to make sure that you're diligent um, throughout the month of February in taking actions. So maybe somebody does give you a recommendation. Like I said, talk about what you're feeling, what you're thinking, and somebody has an idea, but you say, oh, that's a great idea, and you don't follow through. Well, then are you going to find love? No, somebody doesn't just knock on your door and say, knock, 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 and you open it up. Hi, I'm your soulmate. God sent me. It doesn't work that way. I mean, maybe occasionally, but not often. And so they're saying, you don't necessarily get to control a lot of the way that things work out, unfortunately. So relinquishing your control and being open to um, possibilities and just controlling that which you know that you can, which is making yourself self-accessible. So if you had this idea, somebody recommended a dating site, maybe it's time to jump on there. Um, they're saying that uh, most of you are not looking for a hit it and quit it type of deal. And so they're saying, but you can make this known and you know that something better is out there for you. So get rid of that fear. A lot of you are afraid that this is what you'll be attracting. And if that's what you're afraid of, that's the energy that you're putting out there. The universe is obedient. You know, it, it hears the noun, but not um, some of the adjectives and things like that that go along with it or the adverbs, okay? So if you're saying, I don't want a purely sexual relationship, it doesn't hear don't. It hears purely sexual relationship, and that's what you draw into your life. So be careful with what it is that you're thinking about, okay? And then your action word is friendship. And so remember how I talked about, you know, things might start kind of slowly for you. This might be a month where you meet somebody with a common interest straight out the gate. You might not be really attracted to them, but over time, as you get to know them and you're um, sharing these common interests, it turns into something bigger and more beautiful. And it says the value of true friendship and the sharing of simple pleasures is priceless. Some of some other reading also had this. I don't know. It might have been Virgo. So if you have Scorpio, Virgo in your chart, it might be, and Virgo in your chart, it might be good to look that up. You should always look up your moon sign anyway, because that's going to resonate, at least in my opinion, more strongly than your sun sign for things related to love, because the moon sign is about our emotions and we make our love decisions based on our emotion, right? How, however, so what I'm saying is, regardless of whether... You meet somebody new, it starts as a friendship and it evolves, or you're spending time with friends and then in those moments is when somebody shows up into your life. This month, friendship is going to be very important for you, okay? Moving on to couples, Scorpio couples. Okay, so here's the deal. In the recent past, there have been a little bit of uh, bickering, arguing, but it's over dumb shit. It's trivial stuff. You you both want the same thing, Right? Whether you both want um, to make this marriage or relationship work, whether you both want a divorce, whether you both want to move in together, but then you're bickering and arguing about how do you achieve that. You know, do we do this now? Do we do this later? Um, if you want to move somewhere, do we move downtown or do we move out to the suburbs, you know? But the point is you both want the same things. Maybe you both want a clean house, but you're fighting over who takes out the garbage, who does the dishes. And they're like, that shit doesn't matter. Focus on the fact that you want the same thing um, because that's where you've been and now it's bringing you to this place where there's like a lot of honesty and truth. Nobody's deceiving or lying to the other person, but it is creating this um, shutdown of communication. And it, it might it's kind of like in your relationships, whether they're super serious or they're not, especially by text messages and stuff. Um, you and your partner might be sending each other messages throughout the day and then just pretending like you don't see it or not responding, not answering the phone, that kind of stuff. And it's not helping you get to this place of calm. It's not helping you get to this place where the relationship can grow and get better. Is this something that you need to change before the month ends? And they're saying, well, it's an opportunity to change and have a way fucking better relationship this month. Why wouldn't you want a better relationship? So focus on the things you have in common. But they're saying that um, 
you know, the things that you're fighting about are not actually what you might think you're fighting about. If you think you're fighting about things related to the home, related to money, related to possessions, to purchases, job, that kind of stuff, they're like, that's not the real issue here. What you're really fighting about is the communication problems here. And a big part of you knows that you just don't have the tools necessarily in order to change it. And so they're saying, you have to be the first one to take action, lead by example, because your partner likely doesn't have the tools either. Okay. Okay, so what is the action word for coupled Scorpios in February? And they say readiness, clearing your mind and then expect the unexpected. Expect that things will get better than you thought they could with these simple twe tweaks in how you're doing things and how you're communicating with your partner. Actually making an effort to maybe text them something sweet or loving or, you know, sexy. Um, you can set alarms on your phone to remind you to do that, to send a compliment to your wife or your husband or your boyfriend or girlfriend. They're saying, but a, a lot of you are just kind of refusing to stop arguing, to stop fighting, and you know this, and it's time if you want this relationship to work out. You're not winning anything by winning. It's like you're um, winning the battle but losing the war, right? And so they're saying, be really honest with yourself, and I think a lot of you are. Um, they're saying, you know, your relationship is hopeless if you guys don't figure this out very soon. So I'm sorry to give you that news, but it's good for you to have it so that you can manipulate it or change those energies. Now, obviously, this might not be the case for all Scorpios. So, um, I mean, you'll have a better idea in a personal reading. But for the rest of you who are not in that kind of energy, because I do feel like it's uh, about 40% of you who are there, um, for those of you who are more comfortable in your partnered relationships, what's going on? And they're saying um, you're just not taking enough time for yourself to do self-care, time apart, and stuff like that. And so this is also having um, some sort of a negative effect on your relationship as far as, like, your feelings of, you know, um, commitment and will this last. And you might start to doubt that if you're always giving of yourself as a water sign, especially to somebody else, and not caring for yourself first and foremost. And they're saying this is going to create this energy in which you feel defensive and you sort of push them away. Way and that's not good. So regardless of whether you're feeling comfortable, you know, here on the 11th of February or whether you're not feeling so comfortable, there are words of warning there for coupled Scorpios. Now, for those of you who are undefined, what's up? Um, and they're saying a couple of interesting things here. They're saying, you know, in the recent past, you might be there's good things and there's not so good things about the relationship, which is any relationship, okay? But you're doing a better job of focusing on the negative or what's fucked up in the relationship as opposed to what's going right, which makes you wonder right now, is this something that I should abandon or leave? And um, they're saying, you know, you don't have a ton of confidence Either way, no matter what you do, you don't have a lot of confidence in staying because you're afraid it won't be successful. You don't have a lot of confidence in leaving either because then you have left somebody that you cared about. And so what they're saying is the pros of leaving versus the cons and the pros of staying versus the cons are as such. Should you go, they're saying, well, a lot of you won't really make that decision, so why are we talking about it, to be honest? <laughs> They're like, you're just going to sit in this energy, but you might start contemplating in your mind, is it worth it? Are these things I want to worry about? And you have a very clear understanding of what's going on here. So this is not likely to be a decision that you make in the month of February, maybe in March. Um, but at least you're thinking about it, and that's okay. Now, um, should you say, okay, wholeheartedly, I'm just going to stay in this. I'm going to feel good about it. It's a very similar energy to what the coupled Scorpios were feeling here, where it's like bickering and arguing over some dumb shit when at the end of the day you want the same thing. You might have to be the one who kind of just steps back and says, okay, if we want the same thing, even though I want to do it my way, I guess because I love you, I'm going to let you do it your way this time. Um, but they're saying, you know, this is maybe somewhat incongruent with or unaligned with, you know, how you feel about showing yourself love and care and respect, that whole aspect of self-care. Um, and they're saying, and you don't feel really good about it, like your partner's decision or your unpartner, whatever, their decision, it doesn't just, it just doesn't sit very well with you because you're thinking further ahead into the future. So especially if you're in a married, if you're in a relationship with somebody who's married and you're like, dude, 
you got to break up with your wife or husband, okay? I'm just going to say this from a girl's perspective in a straight relationship, even though tarot is not gender specific, for the purposes of like 82% of the people who watch my videos specifically are straight females, okay? So um, you'd be like, bro, you got to leave your wife or I'm going to leave this relationship because this is something that you promised me. Okay. And he's like, okay, but you know, her mom just got cancer. So it's a really shitty time for me to leave. And then like once her mom dies and she copes or like comes into remission or whatever, then we'll talk about it and we'll leave. And you're over here like, I'm not excited about that idea. I don't really like that. That doesn't work for me. That's not showing me love and respect and care the way that I need it. And then you're kind of confused about what to do because you don't want to give up your time on something that you invested. But at the same time, you're like, what the fuck? Right? But if he's saying like, hey, I really do want to be with you and you know that for a fact that he's not lying to you, just like having his cake and eating it too, well, then maybe you're going to have to be okay with it. Not all situations are going to be that dramatic. Some of them, it's it's less of a thing. Some of it is like, hey, um, you know, we've been friends with benefits for a while. I think we both want to have a long-term relationship. Is this something you're ready to commit to with me or not? Um, maybe it's, you know, hey, we have a long-distance relationship. Um, let's start talking about who we want to live together, we want to be together full time, you know, are you going to move here or am I going to move there? And maybe they're resistant to move where you are and you just might have to be a little bit more flexible and say, okay, fuck it, I'm going to go where you go. So all of that being said, what is your action word? And they're saying ceremony. Um, rituals mark importance um, the importance in the passage of time. And so remember how I was talking about being patient and self-care, self-care rituals, huge. If you can daily find time just to sit in the quiet and meditate or to take a bath or, um, you know, paint your nails, whatever it is that gives you that time to decompress just by yourself, alone with your thoughts, a little walk around the block, whatever it is, make it routine this month. Make it a ritual for you because it'll help you to be a lot more um, clear-headed and stuff like that. So I feel a little shitty that the news isn't amazing for couples and um for those who are undefined, that it's better news for those who are single. However, if you're about to be single, this will be a good thing. And also, um, it's not like it's bad news. It's just like, hey, this month is challenging. So good news is now you'll have the tools to work it to your advantage. Um, see you in March. Love and light. Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!